Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy he said those words because it is true. Hollywood is everywhere. It's all over the world. They all love us. They just don't know how we have this place. We have to clean it up a little bit here. Well, that's what we did. We hung some lights tonight. Now we'll get it ready. We'll raise lots of money and we'll get this thing going. That's what we're trying to do before we all freeze to death tonight. Now, oh, I haven't had such a cold ass in years. Now, Debbie, well, Tammy, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I apologize. Tammy doesn't usually say things like that, but I'm frozen. Our next honoree is a wonderful lady and a wonderful gal. Don't applaud people that cuss when they get older. It's nothing to be proud of. Now, if it wasn't enough to have Danny Thomas as a TV husband, now she has the stunning Ann Archer as a real-life daughter. Marjorie Lord Volk's acting career began in the Broadway production of The Old Maid with Dame Judith Anderson. In the years that followed, Marjorie shared her time on Broadway and in Hollywood and all stops in between. With the advent of television, Marjorie starred in the Fireside and Four Star Theaters and appeared in numerous television series as well as on live TV. And when Danny Thomas saw her in the West Coast production of Anniversary Waltz, which she had also played on Broadway, he signed her to play his wife, Kathy, on television's Make Room for Daddy. Unfortunately, the show only lasted 11 years. <laughs> and after the series ended, Marjorie returned to Broadway and performed in various hit shows across the country. It was at this time that the ever versatile Marjorie turned her talents towards directing. And since her marriage in 1976 to Harry Volk, Marjorie has given up her life on the stage as far as performing. That's what she says. Give her a good part to she's in. Screen and television. She has no regrets. However, her days are filled with 15 grandchildren and the many organizations like this one, and are we very blessed, to which she devotes her time. So before she joins us, we'd like to show you some milestones in Marjorie's life before the camera. She made over 30 films. It may surprise you, but she starred with the likes of Charles Boyer, James Cagney, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, and her daughter. Anne's father, John Archer. They co-starred together for the first time in a little number called Sherlock Holmes in Washington. So let's go back now for a visit with the young teenager named Marjorie Lord, whose amazing career was just beginning. Jackie Jr.? Jackie does all, well, I knew him when he was Jackie. Uh -huh. Lord Volk. Gentlemen, please welcome one of Hollywood's favorite directors, Mr. Walter Grauman. <laughs> Maggie. How's this? Maggie, it gives me great pleasure, and I feel it's truly an honor to be able to present this to you. Oh. I can't think of a better friend, a more lovely or elegant lady, nor a better actor. Oh, thank you, Walter. I'm, I'm excited to. <laughs> thank you. I 
just want to say that I'm very honored to be one of the inaugural Fam Family Legacy Awards because I, my heart is in this museum and uh, I just want to see it all come, uh, come to life very quickly. You know, it's kind of sad when you, uh, th th this is going to contribute to the whole rejuvenation of uh, Hollywood Boulevard and uh, as I started to say, it's sort of sad when you tell your friends uh, and they ask you, do you have a star on Hollywood? And you say, yeah, I do. And, well, where is it? And you say, well, let's see now. Just south of Vine, in front of the tattoo shop, you'll find it. <laughs> That's got to change. And when this museum st gets rolling, it's going to make all the difference in the world. And we're all going to be proud to have tourists come and, and find our stars on Hollywood Boulevard. Thank you all for coming tonight. And I'm, I appreciate this so very much. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at Marjorie Lord's most successful production to date, her daughter, Anne Archer. Coincidentally, Anne's career has closely paralleled her mother's. For many years, <laughs> so did my daughter. <laughs> uh, and she doesn't drink yet. For many years, she was in Hollywood on the verge of stardom, well-regarded performances in less than worthy vehicles. Then a turning point. For Marjorie, it was make room for daddy. For Anne, it was fatal attraction and an Oscar nomination as Best Supporting Actress. The sequences we are about to show you are a vivid example of what happens when a performer finally breaks out and has a real opportunity to show you what they got. There's an added bonus for all of us here tonight, a sneak preview, as it were, of a forthcoming film that the whole town's talking about, Body of Evidence, starring Madonna, who's well known for her points, <laughs> And um, doesn't she know what's under there? I've never figured it out. <sighs> Willem Dafoe and an actress no longer, an actress no longer on the verge, Miss Ann Archer. So let's watch. Legacy Awards. Unfortunately, I have to be in New York promoting a film, but I want to thank you for inviting me to share this award with such a distinguished group. I also want to send my best wishes to my mother and uh, to the other Hollywood families involved. You know, for decades and decades, people have been talking about a Hollywood museum, and uh, it's pretty incredible that it doesn't already exist. So uh, I hope this evening helps to move that forward. Hollywood is an enormously important part of our history, and I think it deserves to have a place where we can share those memories and uh, carry it on for generations to see. I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and my thoughts are with you. Happy New Year. <laughs> 